We're now going to look at a really important importing issue, and that deals with transparency, the transparency of files when you import them. I'm going to double click on my project panel. I'm using this transparency project from the chapter three folder if you'd like to follow along. Double click on the project panel, and in the images folder, or the media folder, I'm going to select Rocket Tiny, and I'm going to click open. Now, this file has transparency information in it. And transparency information is referred to as an alpha channel. Basically, if you've heard of color channels like the red channel, green channel, and blue channel in a file, this is an additional channel that just stores transparency. So this dialog box says, hey, what do you want to do with this transparency? Let me show you what happens first when we click ignore. This is basically going to ignore all transparency information in the file, and it will come in as if there were no transparency information at all. So I click OK. And I have here this composition that I've created with a couple layers to have like this little galaxy here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click and drag on this layer and drag it down to my composition and drag it down until I get this black line on top of all existing layers and let go. Now you'll notice that the black background of this rocket completely replaced the galaxy scene I'd created. So it looks like I'm gonna change my mind about ignoring the alpha channel. So I'm gonna select this layer in the timeline panel and I'm gonna hit the delete key to delete it. Now, I could delete this file from the project panel and then re-import it and re-import it correctly, or I could, with it selected, come down and click this button in the bottom left-hand corner of the project panel and click it, and then I get these same options at the top for the alpha channel. Now I'm going to change the interpretation of the alpha channel from ignore to straight unmatted. Then I'm going to click OK. Now I could drag the same file down to my composition, and I could just stack it on top of everything again here. And now we see the rocket with the Galaxy background. Now you might have noticed that when we had the Alpha Channel ignored on this file, that this tail fire stuff here had this really pixelated hard edge that looked terrible. So as you can see, by changing the interpretation to straight unmatted, or in other words, by using this Alpha Channel, we now have this cool feathered edge. Now this is a lot of technical details up front in the beginning of the training series, I realize. But we are talking about importing. The ability to import files with transparency is huge. So if maybe this seemed a little unnecessary, that's fine. Just make sure that you remember that this movie is here so you can come back to it when you're ready to learn from it. Just remember that the alpha channel is what allows this object to come in without a background. And by the way, if you'd like to create an alpha channel, you'll need to do that in the program that you create the file in. So if it's a video file, maybe somebody in front of a green screen, then you'll need to use your video application to create that alpha channel. If it's Photoshop, you'll need to create the alpha channel there. Or if it's a 3D program, you'll need to create the transparency there. Later on at the end of this training series, when we talk about exporting from After Effects, we'll talk about how to export objects with an alpha channel from After Effects. Next, we're going to look at another issue very important for importing, and that is taking in image sequences.